Hey everyone, um, today I would like to talk about Sonic Pi. Sonic Pi is a, I don't know how to call it, a music environment or coding music environment or live coding music environment. What's most important for us is that you can write music using Ruby and Ruby is the like the default language here. And basically you can represent like dubstep or drum and bass or acid uh, as Ruby code which for me is very exciting because I can improve my musical education, I think, when I look at the code instead of something else. So learning via looking at code or maybe refactoring code is uh, quite interesting. My story with Sonic Pi is that at the Wroclaw RB conference, one, I'm one of the organizers, um, Nicolas, one of the programmers who attends the conference every year, uh, at the end of the lightning talk sessions, he usually comes down with his laptop and he plays some code, some he actually live codes the music, right? And it's, the, the fact that it's live is very like exciting. And uh, I always wanted to try this a little bit more. So yesterday I, I got the chance to try Sonic Pi a little bit more. So I wanted to show you some examples. So this is this is dubstep. It's kind of like dubstep generator, you could say. And I downloaded this piece of code. Maybe I have changed something, but it's not mine. All right. Uh, let's try drum and bass. So you can see I, I've added the sound, right? So you can live code it, it actually changes every time you change something. So that's pretty exciting, especially the live coding part, because it kind of reloads the thing all the time and it's a multi-threaded threaded environment, so you need to remember that there are threads. So whatever you put inside a live loop, you can change it and it will be like reloaded uh, uh, automatically, but everything else uh, is not automatic, so you have to stop and start. Mm, okay, some other example. This is like a longer song, and this song is, or maybe not. This is actually this is the acid example. So you can recognize acid by this sound. Okay, this is the this is the one that is longer, almost two hundred lines of code. So I'm just using this to show you what are the capabilities. It's not a tutorial. It's not meant to be a tutorial. Maybe, maybe some other video. Um, again, some uh, acid, very simple acid sound. So again, this synth, and that's the last one, which is all about riffs and generating some melodies. It's a bit broken syntax as well. Well, not broken. Okay, I think that's enough for you. Um, for today, at least, I, I, I hope I got you interested in this. So Sonic Pi is also a big community of musicians, programmers, and people who collaborate to create music. There's actually kind of like a profession right now where you can live code music and some people pay you to do it on events, apparently. Um, there is a huge educational potential, so I want to learn music via this, but also musicians learn how to code Ruby via using this, right? So it's interesting how it, how it works. And I want to spend more time on this. And also I'd like to spend more time on looking at those bigger pieces of code like this one and maybe trying to refactor this. So I want to introduce some OP, maybe some tests. That's my challenge, how to do it. Maybe it's crazy, maybe it's wrong, but just by refactoring, I will probably learn a bit, a little bit more of music. So that's good for me, I hope. And I'll also try this with my kids, so maybe one day they will you know, learn music from this or, la or learn coding by this. Thank you for watching today. Thank you. Thank you.